Okay. Now I'm going to talk about how to sit behind the drum set and my suggestions for doing so by having good posture and being balanced. First thing I tell my students is start with the feet. Get them on the pedals even if you're not using them. Okay? There's heel plates on both pedals. Unless your feet are really big, you may be back here a little bit, but you know, average size foot is perfect right about there. You can be a little bit behind the heel plates and still works fine. Okay, next thing, come coming up, I look at the leg. I personally feel the throne needs to be 90 degrees or greater. It just makes me feel more comfortable. It works for me, so that's what I suggest to my students. After that, I go to the lower back, making sure it's straight. Because if you sit like this for too long, obviously you're going to have back problems. So, and there's lots of other good reasons, too. It looks a lot better to the audience, too. Next, so keep the back straight. You don't have to be at attention, though. You want your shoulders relaxed. The easiest way to do that is let your arms hang, just like this. So you're completely comfortable, balanced, and then you raise your arms up. Pretend there's a string. This is one thing I like to visualize sometimes, is pretend there's a string attached to here on both wrists, and just pretend you're being pulled up by that string, and just let your wrist hang like this. So then, this is a very natural position to start playing the snare drum, especially. So from there, really, the sticks go in the hand very comfortably, and they can hang like this. So then you can approach the drum. What I would do next is just flatten out a little bit, still relaxed, nothing changed with my shoulders, feet, back is the same. And these are my suggestions for posture behind the drum set.